My name is Kunji, and this is Cooking with Kunji. Today I have with me a special guest, my friend. Dion. And Dion is a baker. If you follow my channel, you notice I do not do a lot of baking. I do not like the, pre the precision and the skill and the measuring and all that that it takes to do baking, but it's Christmas time and we're gonna put together a Jamaican favorite, the fruitcake. Christmas fruitcake in Jamaica is no doubt a staple when it comes to Christmas time. So therefore, we had to put this together, so I just got some help. We are going to be making four cakes. We'll do that testing um, in October. I put a video out with uh, sorrel. So we're gonna do that taste test with the sorrel today. Dion will get to taste the sorrel. Oh, sure do, I can't wait. So we'll pair the sorrel with the cake and we'll show you guys how that comes out. Um, I can't wait to taste how fermented that sorrel is right now. And so, stay tuned and see how we make this a micro runner board. Okay then. For the start, I'm gonna start on the ice cream and then gradually we'll go down to a lower speed. Okay, while it's there whipping now, my butter and my sugar. Discretionary, you do the butter and the sugar until it is smooth to touch. I'm just feeling it for now. Okay, we're getting there. So what I'm gonna do next is to add my eggs as I go along. Whenever you're doing your eggs, you break them one by one, just in case one is bad, then you know you can toss it. A dozen eggs to a two pound mixture of flour is good. If you wanna add an extra six, no problem. Depend on the amount you want for your pan. You can always use the white of the egg and toss the yolk. If you have cholesterol problems or you're on like diabetic medication, so I got my dozen eggs in the batter now. can lower my speed now since my sugar and my butter is all set and the eggs have gone through one by one so I'm getting ready to pour my butter in a little while I'm about to blend my raisins and my pune. Also, raisins, when you get them from the store, you can go ahead and steam it with a little water, and then you add your red label wine, or preferred wine for soaking it, that it will be moist when you're ready. 
my pews also when you get them from the store you steam them you soak them in your wine that when you're ready they're all moist and fluffed Okay, I'm gonna add my cherries now. And you know, if they have the stem, you go ahead and you pick the stem out before you do all of that. And you pour the liquid away, we don't need the liquid. And I'm adding more of my red label wine. And I'm ready now to puree it because you don't want it to be too smooth. Okay, this is what we kind of want it to look like. You don't want it to get it too smooth. I'm about to pour my butter now. So you get all of that scooped out with the spatula. I'm about to pour my raisins, prunes, and cherry in my liquid butter. Also, you try to get all your wet ingredients together. And that consists of the egg, butter, and sugar butter, raisins, prunes and cherries, my vanilla, my rum, and my browning. The rum, as we know, is discretionary. You don't want to have too much, so you use a regular glass here. Add the shot glass, and that's enough. You don't want to have too much, considering the family members. For my browning, I'm having four to five spoons of browning. We use a browning for the color. You don't want it to too light also you don't want it to burn so you don't overdo it for the vanilla you can have like a table spoon not too much you don't want to overdo it okay so we got our browning so I'm adding my lemon juice and you know the lemon helps to tone down the egg and also the grated lemon that works also for the mixture because you know with all that egg that we have into it. Okay, I've got all my wet ingredients here and I want to combine it and as always it takes a little extra effort but it pays off for the end result of the cake. Okay, I'm going to add my dry ingredients now which is salt. You can use like a teaspoon of salt my four to five spoons of baking powder my cinnamon and grated nutmeg all together and then i'm gonna sieve the sieving helps to get it evenly you know with all your dry ingredients 
So you add it in portions and while you're adding it, you're mixing while you go along. You don't do it all at once. Wow, smells good. All that spice that I just add to it, we're getting there. See, I just add the breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs helps to bind it together. Okay then. Now this is what it looks like. When you, all your ingredients are together. For the finishing, you wanna go to the edges. Make sure you're not seeing any pockets of the flour. You want to get your mixture evenly. Also, you wanna get your wooden spoon to stand. The art of it, is when you know your mixture is ready. So my oven is preheating for 350. And if you notice in the bottom of the oven, there's a water pan. This is optional. So what this does, that helps to stabilize the temperature in the oven. Because you know, sometimes the temperature goes up and down. But if you have convection, you can start your oven at 325 and the convection feature will keep it stable. So the water pan is just the traditional Jamaican way of baking. When you're baking heavy mixtures like this, you wanna do kinda low and slow, but you want a steady temp, okay? so. That is what the water pan is for, but that is optional. If you have a convection oven, then just use your convection feature and drop your temperature about 25 degrees less than the recommended temp. So all right guys, we have come to the end of this cook. Um, we have a beautiful Jamaican Christmas cake right here. This, of course, as I said before, is a staple in a Jamaican Christmas season. So right now we are gonna go ahead and take a bite and taste this cake. It looks really moist. You did a great job, Dion. I suppose, let's taste it and see. It's good, it's moist. I can taste that rum and wine mixture in there. That's so good. Mm -hmm. 
another time around and I'm excited. Finished product, well done. So, as promised guys, when I did the sorrel video, I told you guys that I will do a taste test and let you guys see the reaction. Really wanna see how that looks. So, we're gonna look at that right now. The color on this sorrel. It just reminds me of home. Mm, I can smell that rum and that wine flavor that the sorrel makes after fermentation. So, here's to a Jamaican Christmas. This is heaven. You see that smile on my face? <laughs> Speaks volume. This is good. Oh yeah. So guys, this sorrel is gonna pair just excellently with the Christmas cake. And if you make sorrel, you wanna give it a couple months say two months, three months maybe. People even give it six months. And let that fermentation process begin and get that rum to turn into a wine and that hibiscus flavor. Absolutely unmatched. Thank you guys for watching this video today. I'm gonna be linking the sorrel video in this video above. I'm gonna be um, making sure you see the other sorrel video versus this sorrel video. Steps and ingredients are going to be in the description below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for more videos like this and I'll see you in the next one.